Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I would like to tell you uh, uh, something I have come up. I'm 34 years old. Something I've come up uh, recently, uh, actually feeling it, but putting into words recently. It's listen to your inner voice. Keep dreaming and wanting. Your dream will not happen as you imagine or on your time clock, but it will happen on the universe's time clock, the universe's timing, and better than you can imagine. Believe it or not, five years ago, I was a, a general manager of a hospital with 300 people, 350 people working in it. Almost working like 17 hours a day, uh, dreaming about it uh, at night as well. On the other side, since I was a child, um, um, uh, I, uh, decide, uh, I created recipes, and these recipes were like, um, because I'm a dyslexic, I don't know whether you know which, what dyslexia is, I cannot like, spell well, uh, I cannot uh, follow orders really well, so I created, I never looked at a book and uh, uh, create, uh, uh, made a recipe out of it, making my own recipes. Uh, uh, and then I started to grow up, uh, went out and ate out, uh, as we all did, uh, like, um, if you think 10, 15 years ago. When we ate out, what we saw was uh, basically um, food that is, uh, like, if you go to a fish restaurant, if you go to a kebab house, almost same mezes everywhere, uh, same techniques. We make the mujvar always from kabak, which is zucchini, uh, and uh, we make the kunefe, we make the gulach only on Ramadan. For what reason, we don't know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, and uh, this is on the other side. I'm working in the hospital and dreaming and thinking about and having these questions in mind about food. Uh, one night, a friend of mine, it was a dinner, um, and uh, I was working six days, and it was a night of one day I was working, and uh, I made uh, a kadaif mante. And she held that uh, mante in her hand and said, Refika, I've been telling you uh, for so many times that you should make a, a book out of uh, these recipes. I've eaten everywhere, and nobody cooks like you. You should make this, these recipes. Uh, uh, I started to write, uh, and this, the only one day that I was uh, sparing for writing the book was the best day, and those six, the other day, six days, were for the, that one, uh, one day or night. And uh, as uh, days went by, I finished the book. I'm cutting those stories. I had shingles and high blood pressure at the age of 29, etc. But I'm taking those down, and I made, I prepared the book. And I was sure it was so cool, thick, uh, very nice photographs, and etc. And I, um, I had cool friends uh, at the time because of my boyfriend, and uh, I took to the uh, big publisher, and she said. Oh, Refika, this is uh, too long. People will not read this. Uh, you just should cut these uh, first parts and just uh, cut, uh, cut to the recipes. And maybe if you're so, if you want it so much, you can have a post-it on it and etc. So I went to another one. I like I cried for four hours, but I persuaded that she was wrong. Uh, then uh, I uh, went to another one. Uh, and the other one was smoking, and you know, you know, writing is cool, you know, and he's smoking in front of me, and said, "I looked at the book. There's nothing new in it." And I said, "Did you really look at the book, the recipes? Did you?" Uh, and yeah, he said, "There's nothing." Uh, so I cried a little more, <laughs> uh, and then uh, through the internet, I went to, "Okay, this publisher looks nice. I like how they print stuff." So I went to another publisher. Uh, I uh, just, I didn't get the interview of a big guy, I just interviewed, had the interview of the secretary there. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, then I went, they, they were late, I gave the book, and I, at that point I didn't want to change the book as well, because uh, until then, at, uh, until that 29 years, I, uh, um, uh, it was very important to please my mom, dad, uh, the, the people, boyfriends, and etc. Uh, and uh, I came later, but the book, I did it for myself. And it was, it should have, uh, should be the way, uh, uh, 
I wanted it to be. Eh, if nobody reads it, I, I will buy the <laughs> thousand copies and I'll give it to my grandchild and then she will give it to her grandchildren and uh, oh, we grandma had a cookbook. They would never know that it wasn't sold, you know. Uh, so afterwards, um, uh, uh, they, after I went out, about one hour later, they called me and Refika, we love the book and we would like to publish it. Uh, and uh, there was the book. And what happened was, uh, uh, and they, uh, they said, uh, we want to make it expensive, we want it a little, because it's expensive, uh, not so many copies, they said, publish more, I'll, I'll manage, I believe in it, etc. And we published it. Uh, in the in the uh, prime stage, I wanted hopefully, and very soon, uh, in the almost the same week, MoMA chose it as a design object and went to New York uh, uh, in Destination Istanbul exhibition. Uh, from Financial Times to uh, Lonely Planet, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, it was uh, published. And I was looking for an interview in Hurriyet, which is like the uh, biggest uh, ranking newspaper, and. Uh, that, uh, a girl next door uh, was working in the, uh, also writing a book. So I have a question, uh, I have a, a connection, and I went uh, through that connection. We had an interview. Uh, and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, there was an other uh, who was a famous and well-known family's girl who had a cookbook out. So, like, they were interviewing me and dropping the interviews because, like, it came from the top, the owners of the newspapers to be published, to, uh, that her content should be published. So, uh, whatever. And uh, they called me uh, from Hurriyet and said, Refika, can you come over? We would like to talk to you. And, uh, and I went, uh, I was, uh, there was this leather uh, couch, I was just, you know, almost uh, in, in, on the edge, sitting and shaking, uh, maybe not shaking, but sitting on the edge, definitely. Uh, and uh, 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 they, they said, we would like you to uh, uh, have a, 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 a column on our newspaper. And I was, really? Which day? What? Uh, and uh, like, this was something uh, I didn't even, like, I imagined having a book you know, you fantasize, we daydream uh, of for it to be being published and people liking it, you know, sending a few emails or something. But like, going to a hurry it was something, because at the time, it, like people were writing from the higher tone, let's say. Uh, and uh, for a girl who's not, uh, whose education is not cooking, it was something really big. Uh, so listen to your inner voice, keep dreaming and wanting. Your dream will not happen as you imagine, or on your time clock, but it will happen uh, on the universe's time clock and better than you think. That's, that's basically the rule uh, that I uh, see. This is the page. Huh. The page is then after Seoul, after two months, uh, it, was, it started to sell. Uh, uh, and now for, for four, and, uh, four and a half years, it's, it's always with an ad. For a paper, I think it's kind of uh, special, and uh, I got I, like I have a TV show as well. But from these newspapers, I get different love letters, which is amazing. Like three, four, four pages long letters of what they felt when they read it. And I was thinking of a TV show, uh, uh, but I had no connection. I had almost no money because at the time I resigned work, and I said I'm not getting any. Uh, money from parents, so I had like a few months to survive. So what happened was um, I went to uh, my in, uh, my laptop was here, uh, my notebook was open, and I started what could be the potential sponsors, and I started to write the sponsors, and I started with the biggest companies and white goods, and so I started the biggest white good companies, Archidic, then came the other ones, which I'm not going to tell now, and then <laughs> other, like, let's go to I said, porcelain and stuff, and I wrote, like, you're out porcelain, something, something, and I, because I had no connection, I went to the internet and looked at the numbers. Usually they were 400, 444, like, thing, numbers. So it was hard to find, you know. Uh, I used to have a secretary. These things were easier and etc. but I was alone. At that day, 
my phone called, my phone rang, and a lady came. Uh, Rifi Khanum, where are you? We've been trying to reach you for so many days right now. Uh, Artik wants to make a TV show with you. Would you be interested? <laughs> so, listen to your inner voice. Keep dreaming and wanting. It will happen on the universe's time clock and better than you think. Now the TV show is uh, 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 probably, hopefully, getting into its fourth year. It's on Star and NTV together. Uh, has uh, not bad rankings and uh, also uh, uh, not just in Turkey, but from United States, uh, England, Germany. It's watched from those countries and I get responses from those countries as well. Uh, we have uh, created uh, different kind of books. We have uh, now uh, like three books and two more are coming. Uh, and uh, uh, we're trying to uh, enrich the Turkish uh, food culture in its own way. So basically what I'm trying to do, I would like to summarize it a bit. This is Kadayif uh, and it's called Künefe. Why not make it salty? Here's the famous dish that my friend uh, you know, uh, shaked in front of my nose. This is Kadayif man. Inside it's like köfte meat, it's, it's uh, meatballs, it's juicy and uh, with a, a lot of spices. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and the outside is crunchy and yogurt and etc. Okay, moving. Why not make a soup? Guys, girls, girls. Uh, 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 and uh, this one is like good old mother burek is uh, like in, on a pan you make. Why not make it with the same technique, why not with, make it with kadayif and it's crunchy, it's very nice. Why not make it with, uh, wrap it around, it takes just three minutes. Everyone is working, so I'll give you a recipe here for tonight. Uh, so, uh, take two bananas, wrap it around the kadayif, deep fry it, very little oil, it doesn't, you know, soak. And then on top of a bit of uh, honey and a nutmeg, and it's incredible, so easy to make. <laughs> Güllaç, she is good, good old Güllaç, is 85% eaten in Ramadan, other 15% are probably thrown away, uh, uh, so we don't see it anywhere. What can we do with it? Why not make it chocolatey? <laughs> Creamy, chocolatey, incredible. <laughs> Why not, uh, maybe you know the old Ottoman dish, Vişneli Ekmek, cherry, Make it with cherry, very, th very light, very tasty, takes 10 minutes to make. Why not with, unfortunately the lighting is great, not so great, but this is with uh, bottom with, um, uh, serve it with ice cream and watermelon, it's incredible. Uh, or, uh, it took me 50, uh, one and a half years uh, to make this, but it became perfect at some point. Uh, a gulach lasagna, which is incredible. And recently, I had, last week I had four different recipes. I have cooked, and I can challenge everyone, the crunchiest börek ever from gulach. You know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. thank you. <laughs> uh, this, uh, what, what is, like, you know, pachanga, the edges are great. Uh, think of the whole part of the berek as the sides of pachanga. That's, that's basically what it is. Uh, it's going to be on the fourth season, Falati. Or yufka. This is, the, uh, this is the Turkish sushi. I'm still dreaming. This is also, um, it, it's, uh, we saw, saw, talk about moving. Uh, the, the, today's theme is about moving, and uh, what I believe uh, in moving is uh, we are 70%, 75% made out of water. The world is 75% water, and we should take a hint from that. Uh, flowing is the thing, the key. Not staying still, but flowing. When you look at the flowing water, it will get dirty. It will, you know, get into other ways, but it will be clean eventually, but when a water settles, when it's a dead lake, for example, the life in it stops. So uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, a, a reconstruction uh, of uh, Sumo Halebisi, which is water 
Well, by water pudding. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a representation of heaven uh, in, uh, uh, and in this, the description of, uh, like in different books, uh, uh, heaven is described as a place where water flows uh, in front, uh, as it's like reminds me of Istanbul a bit actually as well. So, uh, so keep, uh, keep dreaming and keep uh, um, flowing. Uh, and what's my dream right now is, uh, I hope I can make you a part of it as well. My dream is for now, uh, uh, for a Belgium guy to make mantı or for a Chinese guy, I'm going to make Turkish, uh, uh, Turkish lahmacun and invite the loved ones. I believe it's going to happen even uh, better than I think it will happen. Thank you very much. Thank you.